time, 1313. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own internet browser in Visual Basic. So, first thing you'll need is Visual Basic 2008 Express. Download link in the description. Okay, so, first of all, start a new project. Windows Forms, Application. You can name it whatever you want. Tutorial. Now resize the form to whatever you want. Okay, once you've done that, you need six buttons. Now place them wherever you want. Yada yada. Okay, now you need two text boxes. Okay, there we go, and resize these. Now for the web browser control. Okay, so click on button one and where it says text, name it uh back then button two forward this forward oh the heck for forward the button three make it home Let's see home button four click r refresh subway eat Fresh button five is search, search button six is um, go. Hey, am I recording sound? Yes, okay. So, once you've done that. You, you have your form set up. Are you? No. I mean, it's set up the way you want, but it's g not going to do anything if you just debug it. See? Here's your form. If you just type something, google.com, click go. It's not going to do anything. Okay, so you need to add code. Double click on back and just type in web browser one dot go back. Forward. Web browser one. Down, go forward. Home. Web browser. Uh, web browser one. Dot. Uh, is this home? Yes. Go home. Refresh just web browser one dot 
to refresh. Yes, I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. But how do we do this for these codes? For these buttons? You might just say, oh, I just type in web browser one dot sur go search and then web browser one dot go. Well, from that, what do you want to navigate? So double click on search and just type in web browser one dot navigate and then parenthesis it's quotation mark and then go to Google and type in this http colon slash slash www dot google dot com slash search q equals double if that doesn't work and, oh wait and text uh, text box one and then let's see there string oh sorry about this Okay, an easier way to do this is get rid of that HTTP stuff. Go to your internet browser. It's best if you do this in Firefox. Go to Google. Make sure your caps lock is on and just type in search. Hold on. Okay, so uh, I had to do that because I had an answering machine right here from this equal sign. Highlight the stuff to the left. Copy right here. Paste. And then and text. Uh, text. Box one dot text and then boom. Oh, sorry about that. Boom. Okay, so now it's done. And for the go button, it's web browser one dot. Navigate, navigate, and then text, text box two dot text. Okay, so now it's done. Now save all. Look, click save. Okay, so. Your form is now coded. Is it's now coded. Now click this play button here. Now type whatever you want here. HTTP colon slash slash www dot go to Google. Google.com and click go. Yeah, you can't just click enter push enter, you have to click go. And there's Google. You search uh Alex Ram thirteen thirteen search and then boom it's there. Ooh, I'm now on Ustream search. Oh wait, and that's how to make your own simple web browser.